one of the most famous statements in the Christian world, and certainly one that is engraved on the heart of this campus and on the hearts of every one of these wonderful students. Oral put a spin on go ye into all the world and preach the gospel that was unique. And that phrase was go into every person's world, go into every man's world. Oral saw that each person had a world. There was a medical world, there was a, there was a science world, there was an art world. But, but Oral said we should have the best of everything in every discipline, in every field. And one of the best of our graduates is here with me now, one of our most famous and most beloved alumni, Pastor Sharon Doherty. Pastor, thank you for being with thank us. You, thank you, Thank you so much for allowing me to be here. So you graduated in? 1976. How could you have graduated when you were only nine years old? <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, uh, you've done such a great work. That wonderful Victory Church that you and Billy Joe planted across the street and, and the thousands and thousands of people that have really been ministered to there, touched and healed, it, it must give you a great sense of satisfaction. I'm very grateful for what God has done. You know, uh, when we came here to ORU, actually we transferred from a uh, university, secular university, here to ORU. Uh, my sophomore year was uh, fall of 72. My husband transferred prior to that. We weren't married. He had transferred in January of 72. And when we came on the campus, just the attitude, the atmosphere of faith that we felt here, but also the vision, you know, the, the aspect of, I mean, I remember when I came on the campus, I thought I'd never been to Disneyland, but I thought this must be Disneyland. <laughs> You know, the buildings were just amazing. And, and uh, you know, we were from Arkansas. You know, we hadn't seen a whole lot. And so when we came to Tulsa, uh, you know, it was a big city. And uh, at the same time, we came to this campus. And what we saw through Brother Roberts was vision, like you just said earlier. Um, Proverbs says, without a vision, people perish. And there's a lot of different aspects of that scripture that you can kind of take off on. And, uh, you know, it, the, you can look at it. There's, there's one version that says, without a uh, vision, without a sense of consciousness of responsibility, mm. people perish. I like that. And um, then there's, without a vision, there are people that are dying. I mean, and, and not going to heaven, they're going the other direction. They're going to hell. So, you know, vision motivates us. It motivates us to make a difference in this world. Well, it was almost impossible not to have vision when you were around Oral Roberts, wasn't it? That's I mean, right. He, he, was, he just emanated right. vision. He had on his desk, make no small plans here. We still have that sign. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, sometimes people think, well, you know, there's a lot of different thoughts. on it. You know, sometimes people think, well, I'm just an ordinary person. I don't have connections. Mm. I don't know famous people. I don't, I don't have money. You know, Brother Roberts came from a poor background. Yes, he did. And he didn't have connections. And he didn't know famous people, but he knew God. And so when, you know, he began to share how that he just believed that when he began to get a vision inside of his heart, he heard the voice of God, first of all. Then he got this vision inside of his heart to build this university. And then he had to press through the, the criticisms. The, 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 the persecution the people that didn't understand vision and uh, press through all that to see the vision fulfilled. And so that got inside of us and particularly in my husband. You know, my husband uh, was a visionary and in fact uh, got visions inside of his heart. I mean, and, and he saw visions. He heard the audible voice of God a few times in his life. I haven't ever heard the audible voice of God, but I've heard the voice of God in my spirit. And so uh, I know that voice uh, without a doubt. And so through the years, what we saw in, in what God did in us was he imparted into us vision that God could use any ordinary person who would just believe. You look at the Bible, you think about Gideon. I mean, he's hiding out in a wine press, you know, from the Midianites, and he's scared. And an angel appears and says, you mighty men of valor, and he's going, who, who me? me? Who you me? know? <laughs> and, and so what God sees in all of us, you know, David, just a shepherd boy, mm. and yet he knew his relationship with God, and, and it was David that stood before the giant Goliath. And the giant Goliath saying, you know, I'm going to, cut your head off and I'm going to feed you little dog to the birds. You know, he says, no, I'm going to cut your head off. I'm going to feed you to the birds. And you know, there's the, the boldness that can come inside of a person that simply believes 
God could use me. God could do anything. God can do anything. And if I can believe and then just be committed, because a lot of times, you know, it's commitment to That's sacrifice. Right. That's right. You know, yeah, sure. uh, with any vision, there's got to be this commitment that you will sacrifice yourself in order to see the vision completed. And so we see that in Brother Roberts. I mean, we grabbed hold of that in our own hearts. There's just something about living and learning and studying. I, I envy these young people in uh, attending classes and going to chapel and living on a campus that is so saturated in that sense that with God, little is much. That, yeah. that, that anybody, God can use anybody That's right. to do mighty things. Every time we end chapel, we end with these words, change your world. Yeah. And, and we mean that at Oral Roberts yeah. University. Yeah, and you know, and we change our world. We, we actually start, I believe, one-on-one, -on -one, you know, with people. If we can't be compassionate and, and sensitive to uh, reach out to a person one-on-one, -on -one, then how can God use us to reach the masses? You know, and so what we've seen is, is that it's that, you know, Jesus was moved with compassion. God used him one-on-one, -on -one, but God used him to reach the masses. God wants to use our lives in ways that we can't even imagine if we'll simply just let him. Haven't even, that we haven't even begun to think of. Every time I preach in chapel, every time I even meet one of these young people, talk to them, hear them sing, just shake hands with them walking across the campus, I always have the same thought. You don't have any clue who you are. And, and you know what occurs to me? I don't have any clue who they are. I may be shaking hand with a future governor right. or a president or, right. or a new Sharon Doherty that's going to change well, the lives of well, thousands yeah, of people. That, that occurs to me every single time I, I meet one of them. Yeah. It's very who exciting. Who are they going to be in the future? Who are they going to be? Praise God. Sharon, one thing I know, uh, they, many of them can't be here without help. Yeah. And, uh, and I, I think that sometimes folks get it in their minds that, uh, that Or Roberts University is, uh, is just a... Um, a place, a dest place of destination, but it's a place of destiny. Mm -hmm. And there is, there is no way that some That's right. can be here. I think one of the most exciting things in my life is when I see some kid who's just been awarded a scholarship yeah. and they light up yeah. and they say, Dr. Welton, I got it. I'll be here. Because they know they couldn't have gotten it otherwise. Any other way. Yeah. You, know what, you know what one of the worst things in my life is? Is to have to tell some kid, I'm sorry, son. Yeah. Can't help you this yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. That's terrible. Out of the financial aid. It's terrible. Yeah. That, it is. Say a word. Say a word to well, folks know, when, about it. When, I, when we thought of coming to ORU, yeah, at first, you know, it was beyond our minds because, you know, um, it was a private university. And, and, you know, even my parents, I mean, you know, how could we afford this? And I was on a scholarship where I was. Um, but, you know, coming to ORU, uh, I ended up getting a, a, a good scholarship when I came. And I was involved in the music program here. And uh, my husband also, when he came, he used all of his money for one semester and worked in the PE laundry. He has a great story of working in the PE laundry with a guy that, you know, anyway, later on became working in another area of the university. And then, you know, he ended up getting a, a scholarship, a couple of scholarships, which my husband and I, we could not have gone through ORU had it not been for scholarships. Wow. And um, so we went through ORU debt free. Praise and it was God. because we worked, you know, we, we, we both worked in the summers and we worked part-time jobs, but we also uh, had to believe God. And uh, it was because of the support of people that believed in the students coming to ORU. And I remember Brother Robert saying, you know, when, when people come on this campus, because a lot of times partners would come on campus, and he would say, you never know, you could be speaking to someone that could be giving into your, to your scholarships, yes. you know, the reason you're here. And uh, so we were always very aware of that as students, you know, the, the, the partners that made it possible for us to be here. And um, I just encourage you that are watching, like Dr. Rutland said, you may not realize the students that you're, you're contributing toward, the work that they will do one day. You know, the masses of people that they could be influencing one day or even that job that would be uh, something that would bring breakthrough for lives. You, you don't know what's, what's, what, what, you, what those seeds are going into, but know this, they are going to affect leaders in, tomorrow's, in our future tomorrow. And I'm so thankful that you know, there were those that believed in Oral Roberts University when I was a student and contributed to that. I can't imagine any investment that anyone could make that would be greater and have a greater return on that investment 
than the investment in human potential to change the world. Amen. And that is the investment in the whole person That's right. scholarship. That's right. Thank you, Pastor Sharon. Thank we love you, so you at ORU. We love you at ORU.